Good afternoon everybody. So, uh, last time we were uh, discussing several properties of the knowledge operator. Uh, some of them are listed here. The fact that when a player I knows A, A then he then A is in fact obtained. Then the fact that uh, if uh, I knows A and A is a subset of of B then he then I also then I also knows B. Uh, and uh, that the knowledge operator is uh, is essentially self aware so which means that when i knows a i also knows that i knows a and so on and uh, knowing a and b is the same as knowing the intersection of a and b okay so knowing a and knowing b is the same as knowing a and b and then finally that when i when uh, if you take ki of a complement that means if you take the event that player uh, uh, player i does not know a then player i knows that he does not know a then from there we went went into a characterization of sets that can be that are common knowledge in a in a in a certain state of the world so for this what we did was we defined a graph g we said let's let g be this graph which is defined on the states of the world and there is an edge between any two states omega and omega dash if there is at least one player if there exists one player who cannot distinguish between omega and omega dash right so omega dash belongs to fi of omega for at least for the for one player for a player i okay so uh, this doesn't need to be true for all players it just has to be there has to be just one player who cannot distinguish between these two then there is an edge and then we defined what is called a connected component in in this a connected component essentially is uh, is a is a subset of of y such that there is a path between any two omega and omega dash in that subset but not uh, from from a vertex in c from in that subset to a vertex not in that subset okay so there is no edge uh, connecting a vertex in the subset to a vertex not in the subset so this is what is called was called a connected component and our next what we ended with was this theorem we basically said that an event an event a is common knowledge in the state of the world in state of the world omega star if and only if that event is a is a, a superset of the connected component of omega star okay so every state of the world omega is is part of some connected component let c of omega be that connected component and an event a is common knowledge in omega star if and only if a is a superset of c of omega star okay the connected component containing omega star so what we'll do today is actually we'll prove this okay and alongside we will also see the structure of uh, we will understand how the what kind of uh, what uh, the the structure of of sets that emerge as common knowledge okay so first uh, uh, let's understand this suppose suppose this is this is y and now suppose this is the partition of a of some player okay so suppose this is this is my event okay this blue shaded one this is this here is my event okay all right and now uh, what is the what are the states of the world in which uh, so i have dis described here the partition of player i so let's let's call this the partition of player i okay now uh, what are the states of the world in which player i knows this event let's call this event a what are the states of the world in which player i knows a so those are actually this these right the yellow highlighted ones are the states of the world in which player i knows a okay now so ki of a therefore is the yes yellow region right because it's those states of the world in which player i knows no uh, it's those states of the world in which if you look at the element of the partition corresponding to those states of the world that element is completely in 
contained in A. Okay. Let us take another example. I uh, will um, just draw another set here. Let us look at this green set. What are the, uh, the this is an, this is some other event let us call this event say let us say event B. This is event B. Now, tell me what is K i of B is this K i of B is uh, is this red shaded region. right it's the states of the world in which player i knows b okay now now what what do you observe here what you observe is that for take whatever event you want ki of that event okay take any event a ki of that event is always an element of the partition of a player right so k i for any event a this is k i of a is is always a union of elements is always a union of elements from f i right so there could be more than one such element so if my a is large enough there could be more than one such element. So, it is always a union of elements of f i. Now, what does this mean? Essentially, if you take any uh, any uh, if you take any any event a it the the k i corresponding to that event the k i of a is going to be formed by taking some taking the union of elements of the partition of player i ok. The 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 elements of the partition of player i which intersect a but are not completely enclosed in a are not included in k i of a right. So, for in particular you look at something like this, this this here is a part is an element of player a i's partition, it intersects a, but it is not completely enclosed in a right, it is not a subset of a. So, therefore, it is not an it is not it though these events are therefore, not in k i of a right. Likewise, it again intersects b but is not a subset of b right so therefore it is these events are also not in ki of b right so what this means is that if you have elements of player i's partition which intersect an event but are not completely uh, which are but are not a subset of it then they are not in player i's knowledge of knowledge of that event okay so they are not in ki of that event okay all right so now what does this mean so let's look. Uh, let's look at again now. K i of a complement. Now, what is K i of a complement then? K i of a is necessarily containing those elements of player i's partition which are completely enclosed in a. Okay. So K i of a complement will include what? Yeah, the union of all the other elements of his partition, right? So in particular, see suppose if, so. So, here I said the yellow region is k i of a, the red region here was k i of b. So, what is k i of a complement? k i of a complement is everything other than the yellow region, right. So, k i of a complement is everything other than the yellow region. Now, if if this is everything other than the yellow region ok, now what does that mean? That means, that itself is a union of elements of partitions of player a or player i right, because it is it is itself union of elements of f i that are not a 
subset of A. Clear? So, all the elements of Fi which are not a subset of A are are Ki of A complement. Okay, their, their union is Ki of A complement. Okay. So, therefore, now what is Ki of Ki of A complement? What is this? This is itself now a, a so if you since this is itself a union of elements of player i's partition, it is therefore it is you take any omega in k i of a complement, right? The f i co corresponding to that omega is completely contained in k i of a complement by definition, right? So for any so this is itself equal to k i of a complement since for any omega in k i of a complement f i of omega is a subset of k i of a complement and the reason for that is because k i of a complement is itself a union of elements of f i uh, uh, elements of f i that are not a subset of it. Okay. So, what this basically shows is essentially the property that I had uh, I had, uh, talked about which is which is that uh, uh, k i of k i of a complement is equal to k i k i of a complement. Okay. Now, remember I have used here that this is uh, this is not some arbitrary set right. So, if I put some set c here k i of c is not equal to c. Okay, not necessarily, but k i of k i of a complement is equal to k i k i of a complement. Is this clear? Okay. Again, just one more tongue twister for you. If what what if I put the complement inside? Do the, is this still true? Yes or no? It is true. Because when a player knows a set, he knows he knows that he knows. When when a player knows an event, he knows that he knows the, the event. The event here is just a complement. That's it. Trivially, actually, this is this is this is this is true from the property we uh, discussed last time. Okay, so this is also true, but uh, but it is not. But this is trivial as compared to this one, which is which is more subtle. Okay, all right. Now, now that we understand this, the structure here, no, that's that gives us uh, a chance to basically prove the prove the theorem that uh, that we mentioned that I stated at the end of the last class. So, what I'll do is I'll just state it again here theorem. Okay, I'll just define the graph also once again. So, define that define the graph G. G is comprised of vertices from Y and edges E. Uh, omega comma omega dash belongs to E if and only if there exists an I a player I such that omega dash belongs to F I of omega ok and C of omega is the connected component of G containing containing omega ok and our theorem was this uh, an event A is common knowledge in omega if and only if A contains C of omega. All right. Okay. All right. So let's uh, let's do the proof of this. So first, let us show that. Um, so suppose suppose A is common knowledge in omega. Okay. And now suppose. Uh, so, so we we'll suppose that A is common knowledge in omega and prove we will 
we will show that c of omega is the subset of it okay all right so now omega is uh, uh, so a is common knowledge in omega so necessarily a obtains so omega is a subset of a uh, sorry is an element of a okay now and omega is the also an element of c of omega by definition okay omega is uh, also part of the connect is, is c of omega is the connected component containing omega so omega is in c of omega okay now what we will do is we, we want to show that c of omega is a subset of a so what we will do is we will take an arbitrary uh, element of omega let's call that omega star okay uh, or omega dash so let let omega dash belong to c of omega so this is an arbitrary element of c of omega and what we will show is that omega dash is in a okay so we will show that omega dash belongs to a okay all right so how are we going to show this so see omega dash is in c of omega omega is also in c of omega c of omega is the connected component containing omega omega dash is in that com is in that connected component now what is the definition of the connected component it means that between any two vertices in that connect connected component there is a path right there is a path that con uh, that connects these two vertices so that means that there exists a path let's call this path omega 0 omega 1 till omega omega r suppose so omega z till omega z r omega r is itself omega dash and omega 0 is omega so there is a path like this starting from omega 0 equal to omega to omega 1 to omega 2 dot 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 till omega r where omega r is actually omega dash okay in g which means that this what does what does it mean for there is a path there it just means that these are the the consecutive vertices here are connected by an edge okay so omega 0 is connected to omega 1 omega 1 is connected to omega 2 dot 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 omega r minus 1 is connected to omega r okay so there is such a path in, in g now it, since there is such a path in g what does this mean if you take any two consecutive vertices there is an edge which means take any two consecutive vertices there is at least one player who cannot distinguish between the two okay means for every uh, uh, consecutive uh, every consecutive vertices that means take omega k and omega k plus 1 there is going to be a player who cannot distinguish between these two all right okay so actually because of this structure let's just prove this by induction prove by induction that omega k belongs to a for any so actually all we wanted to show was that omega dash belongs to a but we will end up showing something stronger we will show that the entire path actually belongs to a okay so that comes for free through the whole uh, through the whole argument okay so so we will show that omega k belongs to a for any k between 0 to r so obviously it's true for k equal to 0 because omega 0 we took as omega itself okay so true uh, so base uh, the uh, the induction uh, the it's true for k equal to the induction hypothesis is true for k equal to 0 that's your base case okay true for k equal to 0 now assume it's true for some k okay assume it is true for some k now if it is true for some k now remember i said as i said omega k and omega k plus 1 is an edge which means that there is a there is a player who cannot distinguish between these two okay so assume it's true for some k which means omega k is is in a and now we also know that there exists a i such that omega k plus 1 
is in fi of omega k. Now, omega k plus 1 is in fi of omega k, ok. Now, remember what did we uh, which means player i cannot distinguish between omega k and omega k plus 1, ok. Now, omega k plus um, ok, which means that a is common knowledge also in omega k. Ok, so let us go, go through this step by step. See, essentially we, what, what are we going to show? We will show that A is common knowledge in uh, is so uh, sorry, um, A is also common knowledge in, in, in omega k plus 1 and therefore omega k plus 1 has to be in A. Ok, so essentially so ok, so let us let us do this ok. So, I will just uh, erase this and I will we will be able to show something even stronger. So, we will prove that we will prove that uh, by induction that omega k belongs to A and the and that A is common knowledge in omega k ok. So, this is a, this is stronger actually, but in fact this is in eventually going to be necessary because the entire uh, you know connected component is going to be shown as a subset of A ok. Uh, so, so, in, so this is uh, this this will make our proof a lot easier. So we will prove by induction that omega k belongs to A and also that omega k is common knowledge in uh, A that A is common knowledge in omega k. Okay. So this is trivially true for omega equal to uh, for k equal to zero. True for k equal to zero. Why is it true for k equal to zero? Because we said that omega zero is omega and A is assumed to be common knowledge in omega. Okay. So, this is true for k equal to 0. Now, assume it is true the induction hypothesis for, for some k ok. So, assume the induction hypothesis for some k ok, um, let us say k greater than 0. Now, there exists a player i in n such that omega k plus 1 belongs to f i of omega k ok. And now if you remember one of the things we had shown last time was this that if if player i cannot distinguish if there is a player who cannot distinguish between two states and an event is common knowledge in one of the states then it is also common knowledge in the other state. Right. This is something we had shown. If you you can, you we showed this by taking uh, by taking a sequence of players which was once one length longer, and then we drop dropped the first guy, and then we, we said we can make the we can apply the same uh, uh, the definition of common knowledge on the remaining sequence. Essentially, that's how we showed this. So 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 now we now what we are in exactly that situation. We have that uh, there is a player who cannot distinguish between omega k and omega k plus one. A is common knowledge in omega k, ok. So, therefore, A has to be common knowledge in omega k plus 1, ok. So, which means that A is common knowledge in omega k plus 1. Now, A is common, so this is give, it gives us that A is common knowledge in omega k plus 1, and once A is common knowledge in omega k plus 1, A actually occurs in omega k plus 1, which means A and omega k plus 1 has to therefore be a element of A ok. So, this basically establishes by induction that so which means by induction omega dash is an A. Okay. Now, what did we start off saying? We started off saying that let omega dash be an arbitrary element of C of omega and we just showed that that arbitrary element is also in A, which means that the all of C of omega is actually in A. Okay. So, I will just write that here, which means that C of omega is a subset of A. Okay. All right. So, this is shown that what have we shown? We said that well, suppose A is common knowledge in omega, 
then c of omega is is a subset of a that's the proof, that's what we have shown but the theorem asks us to show something stronger right it says that an event a is common knowledge in omega if and only if if and only if this holds 